Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together. KCET 2023's document verification process is just around the corner and during this time, the biggest problem in your minds will be about the study certificate and for that reason, I will be talking about study certificate in complete detail in this video moving forward and I will be covering topics such as mode of verification and how your study certificate should be looking like in order to get verified, the prescribed format and in the same way the number of years which you have to verify in order to get your candidature verified for the next stage of counselling which is the option entry. And for that reason watch this video till the end guys because I don't want to miss any detail which I will be telling in this video because that will be most valuable in order to get your study certificate verified which is one of the major step in this counselling process. Before starting this video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure that you click the subscribe button because I will be uploading many videos regarding each and every KCD update which you need to know and in the same way tips and tricks regarding option entry which will help you get the best possible college and the best possible branch for your particular rank which you have got. So with that note, I think we can start this video. First things first, let me tell you that your study certificate will be and should be verified offline itself. So there is no online verification for study certificate and you should be verifying your respective study certificates by going to your prescribed BU office which will be determined by the location of your respective school. So that is where you should be heading on to and in the same way you should be verifying your study certificate over there in offline mode. Next talking about how your study certificate should be looking like. So there is a prescribed format by KEA which you need to stick on to guys. But there is no necessity that your study certificate should be looking exactly like what I am displaying in the screen right now. So this is the prescribed format for study certificate which has been given by KEA. But note the point that your study certificate need not look exactly like the same which they have prescribed. So all the things which they have prescribed over there should be covered in your study certificate. Whereas there is no necessity that it should look exactly the same. So that is one thing which I had to tell you since many days. Many people are uh, really confused about the fact that their study certificate isn't looking exactly like this one. And that is why I am just stressing upon this point guys. I hope you got the clear. Now talking about the number of years which you need to verify. This is quite important guys. Listen to me and take a note of it if you are having any pen or a paper in your hand right now. Because many people miss this out. As per KEA, you should be verifying 7 years of your study through study certificate. That is, from class 1 to class 10, you should be verifying at least 7 years. Suppose you are a person who has studied 1st standard to 10th standard in a particular school itself. So no change of schools, nothing. You have studied in one particular school. Then you should be verifying 1st standard to 10th standard study certificate through that particular school and you your job will be done. So it, it is crystal clear, I guess. Then talking about people who have changed their schools in the middle. Suppose a person has studied first standard to third standard in one particular school and then he has changed, he or she has changed his or her particular school from fourth standard to 10th standard. Then as per KEA, the requirement, the minimum requirement is seven years. That means, so he can verify first to third standard also, then he can verify fourth standard to 10th standard. So 10 years will be completed and through that, the minimum requirement of seven years will be met. So this is what I had to tell you guys. This is quite important because last year many people faltered over this particular point. Minimum 7 years, not necessary that it should be exactly equal to 7 years. And the biggest doubt in your mind about this particular thing is about can we verify PU also. No guys, many BU officers just refuse to verify the PU details. So that is why I am telling you in order to be in a safer zone, just get the study certificates of your class 1st to class 10th ready. So even if the requirement is just 7 years, I would strongly recommend you to get your study certificates ready from class 1 to class 10. So that will put you in a highly safe zone compared to others who will be struggling in the last moment and I don't want any member of this beautiful community of brothers together to be in any kind of difficulty during this counselling process. Because the main motto or the main objective of this channel is to make the counselling process smooth and exciting for each and everyone who is a part of this beautiful community guys. Now talking about students who completed their class 11th and class 12th through different boards like CBSC and I am one of them. So I am one of the students who have completed my class 6th to class 12th in Jawahar Navodaya Vidyalaya Mysore which is affiliated to CBSC and even my class 12th exams were completed by me under CBSC itself and for that reason if you just 
carefully go across my study certificate you will be getting to know that the details of class 6 to class 12th have been mentioned over there and that has been verified state board students you should be verifying seven years minimum in that first standard to 10th standard period itself but for other boards like cbsc and icsc they will be considering 11th and 12th so listen to me guys this happened to me and that is the reason I am telling you with a lot of experience. If you are someone who has completed your first PU and second PU through state board, then you should not be considering that two years. And for the safer zone, you should be considering first standard to 10th standard and you should be able to produce details for seven years in that particular period itself. And that will take your study certificate verification in a smooth fashion. Now the most exciting part of the video is about me demonstrating my study certificate which got verified. So this is the document which I was talking about. This is the study certificate of me studying in Jawahar Navodaya Vidyalaya from class 6th to class 12th. Yes guys again you should be noting the point that I have completed class 11th and class 12th under CBSC and that is the reason why those two years have been considered for that minimum requirement of 7 years and if you are someone who has completed the class 11th and class 12th in the form of first PU and second PU under Karnataka state boards and then that will not be considered and I want you guys in order to note it because that is very much important and many people couldn't understand this during last year and put in a lot of difficulty in the last moment and now talking about your study certificate so there, still there is a lot of time left for your document verification by the time just go to your respective schools or your colleges where you have studied and then just try to get your study certificates ready for the entire period from class 1st to class 10th even if it's not of use for now then it will be a lot of use later on moving forward in your career guys so I would strongly recommend you to just get the study certificate from class 1st to class 10th ready now itself. I have tried my level best in order to cover all your doubts regarding study certificate but still if you have any kind of further doubts or clarifications about this topic then feel free to put it in the comment section so that I will be able to go through each and every one of them and I will be able to answer them based on my experience which I have gained last year and in the same way if you like this video then make sure that you hit the like button because that will give me a lot of motivation moving forward to upload same kind of videos and so share this video with your friends too if they are participating in KCT 2023 counseling process because study certificate is the most important document according to me which will make your uh, document verification process or your counseling process half done again I would like to wish all the very best for all of you who are watching this video for your upcoming counseling process and I hope that you guys will be getting the best possible seat for your particular rank through the counseling which is just around the corner. With that note, this is Darshan Skoda signing off and we are brothers together. Thank you guys. Thank you. We'll meet in the next video. Bye.